Hi everybody. How are you? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad to see you. Um, as most of you know, I was not online too much last week because I was super busy doing the nicest job I could possibly do for, um, my stampers at my in-person retreat. I know. So weird, right? I had an in-person retreat and, um, I will tell you more about that in just a minute. But for right now, let me find myself. And I have some friends coming out already. I saw Mary Ellen and I saw Donna. How's it going, girls? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to see you. Let's make sure I'm on the right page. I think I am. Mary Ellen, you probably have some snow already. <laughs> oh gosh. Someone sent me a picture from um, their friend's house, or their sister's house, actually, in Missoula. And it was bazonko so i'm sure it's probably not everywhere but i also saw some pictures from Brene that um it's alive and well in denver or i don't know if she lives in denver but in colorado so anyway hello everybody i'm so excited i'm going to share something with you that you might not want to see so i'm, on, I'm going to mention it like five or six times but um I'm going to do an unboxing for the onstage swag box. I just saw my uh, Stampin' Up! Bestie jump on. Jen, I'm so glad to see you. You're all settled now. You're not all settled, but you have a home. <laughs> so I expect to see you and talk to you more. I've missed you. Okay, um, you just tell Kevin that unpacking can wait. All right, once you get that craft room set up, your office set up, um, just lock the door, my friend. <laughs> He'll get used to it. <laughs> he can make his own dinner. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Kevin. <laughs> we need our gin back. Okay, but I digress. Uh, so, um, as most of you know, um, one of the really cool things about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that you can join special Stampin' Up! VIP events. And when this box came in the mail, it was a little sad, I have to say because I expected to be going to the onstage live event, which was going to be in Salt Lake City, not very far from me. A couple of people on my team and I had already planned to go and road trip it over there. It really would have been fun. But you know what? We are all doing the best we can, right? And I'm so glad that Stampin' Up! didn't just say, we can't do anything, right? They made the best of it. And so, um, oh gosh, hi ladies. It's so nice to see you. I mean, I realize, I realize I only skipped one live, but I've missed you. My online stampers, um, my online tribe. So anyway, hey, thanks Jen. That's very nice. Thank you. Um, amazing what happens when I put on a little makeup, right? <laughs> That's the plan. That's why I don't wear it usually because then even if I put a touch on, everyone's like, wow, look at her. <laughs> She's got it going on. Okay. Um, anyway, you can tell I'm just excited to be with you, right? Okay. So back to the onstage box. Uh, they said that you could order a swag box if you wanted, as well as attending the online version of onstage at home. So uh, I couldn't, I couldn't let uh, let that go by. You know me in a swag box. I'm gonna have it, right? Um, so anyway, I'm going to show it to you. You may not have yours yet, or you may not have ordered it. If you do not want to see it, look away, my friend. What I don't want you to do is get mad at me and send me some nasty gram after you've seen it. And then you wish it was a surprise. <laughs> okay. So just be surprised right now when I show it to you. Okay. Here comes the box, the box only. Okay. The box is enough to look at for a while. Isn't it super cute? <gasps> Look at it. I love it. And then let's look inside. It's like, it's kind of glossy, you know, it's typical Stampin' Up. This is why I try and do such a nice job with my packaging of my kits because I learned from the best, right? We learned from the best. And so then there's a really cool set of lips in there. I wonder if that is like a lead in to some product. Okay, so a cool set of lips and kind of a paintbrush swipe. And it's all glossy and pretty and I just want to hug it. I just want to hug anything. <laughs> Let's be honest. I will hug inanimate 
or animate things. <laughs> I made my bestie hug me um, after the event. I mean, she's in my pod. And I was like, I need a hug. I know I'm not supposed to, but I need to. It was like I was doing something illegal or something. So sad. Okay, now I'm going to show you the bag. Are you ready? Because I don't have to, but I really think I want to show it. Okay, I'm going to look at comments first because um, I need to make sure I'm keeping up. Uh, Donna says, it's been so long since I put makeup on. I'm not sure it's good any longer. <laughs> it's all right. Makeup's overrated. I really just do it to hide my my um, the craters in my under eyes. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, hi, Melissa and Megan. Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday morning for you already. Hi, Arlene, you told you told me you got your swag already. Arlene, super fun, sunny and cool. Yeah, I bet. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're on the road home. So nice, Jen. I saw that you guys were road tripping it somewhere. I need to catch up though. And hello, Kathy. There's Kathy Sheely. There's Kathy Sanford. Oh gosh. Hi, Karma. It's so nice to see you. Karma was a big winner at, um, the event at my retreat. And, um, I was so happy. She was so happy too. Um, I'll post a picture of her later, but, um, oh yeah, I don't know, Arlene. I guess we'll find out. I think we're all working with the same stamp set, but I have no idea. Hey, thanks for sharing, Mar Mary Ellen. I appreciate that. Feel free to share this, ladies or gentlemen. You know, there's always some men lurking in the background. They want to know what we're doing, what all this stamping business is, right? You didn't get the swag bag stuff. Okay, Michelle, you can at least see it. That's the next best thing. Okay, so here's the tote. The tote is always like a standout. Look at it. Just look at this. Would you... Oh, it's really good. Every year I say this, of course. Oh, Cash is so excited. He just came running in. Look at this, Cashy. It's fantastic. <laughs> I think he thought it was um, cookies because he heard this jingling thing. Anyway, it's not. Sorry. It's better than cookies, and I don't say that very often. So it's beautiful. This looks like... Um, Cool party handles. There's very much, uh, you know, a cool rainbow theme here, but it looks like Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, maybe Mango Melody. Anyway, it's really pretty. And then there's like a zipper underneath. Let's check it out. I think it probably just expands. Or there might be a bag of gold in here. Oh, that would be really fun. I'm sure it just expands. Because you know when you go to... <laughs> When you go to any stamping event and then when you come home, you come home with lots of good stuff. Okay. Oh, it opens up all the way. Oh my goodness. It opens up all the way and there's like this padded insert in here. That's very cool. I bet it is wide enough. Let's check it out. Trimmer. I bet it's wide enough for the trimmer. They don't miss a trick, I tell ya. Oh, yes. You can put your trimmer in here. Okay, so let me see if I can. You can put your trimmer right in this. And that's actually in the bottom of the bag. I love it. That, it's like your weekend bag away. Only it's just all stamping stuff, right? Everybody's dream weekend away. So there's that compartment. Hello, Tango. Are you curious too? Did you hear mom making high pitched squeaks? Did you hear mom? Oh, mom. This is the best thing ever, Tango. Okay. Let's check it out. So it's two zippers on the top. I like that kind of a bag. And it opens way past. This is so cute. You guys, look in there. It's popsicles. <laughs> Popsicles with the same kind of rainbow theme. I know Mary Ellen, isn't it cool? Um, hello, Brenda. So it's like popsicles in here. Let me see if I can kind of show you a little bit. There we go. A really nice zipper pouch. Ooh, yeah. It's lined in. Pool party. They do not scrimp 
on the totes. They're always little, they're keepers. They're not just for looks. Although I, I'm always tempted to just keep them away, you know, for good or whatever, and then not use them. But I find that the happiness for me is in using them and showing them off. So they're a great little conversation starter too. Usually people say, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Like, well, let me tell you, how much time do you have? Ooh, it's really cute. I love that compartment on the bottom. It's so functional. Yeah, do you want to look at that? Check it out. Oh, Tango, that's adorable. Tango would even fit in there, I think, in case he wants to come to the, um, to the next on stage. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip you down now. So, um, you know, it ain't gonna be pretty. Look away if you're gonna get car sick on me or motion sick. Okay, uh, let's see here. I don't normally do it this way. So let me get the tools, right? And then we want to go this way. Hello. And let's see if this is proper. If not, I may have to grab you back for a minute. Let's see here. Slight delay. So I need to wait just a minute and see what I've got going on. And you will already see one more thing that was in in the um, bag. Can you believe it? <gasps> Look at the beautiful grid paper. Okay, I hope you're looking on that. Someone tell me if um, you can see my hands, if it appears that Stampin' Up! is going the right way because I am on a delay. Kathy Sanford, can you see me? Okay, I think you guys can see me and I'm the right way here. There we go. All right, I need to bring this up a little bit or at least show you. This is the special grid paper. So for every event, there's a special grid paper. You know what, I think I better just leave it. I'm starting to think that I will make you sick. That wouldn't be very fun. Anyway, it's some beautiful, okay, stop it now. Stop moving around. Okay, so it's some beautiful grid paper. Let's admire it. It fits right in with the tote, doesn't it? It looks just like the tote. That's a cool thing is that um, they always coordinate everything. So it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Man, I am in love with this grid paper. It's going to show off things really well. Um, I'm not going to use it right now, though. I'm sorry. That I am saving for on stage because I want to make it a special. Oh, is it backwards? Is it backwards, Darcy? I need to mirror. Okay, let me see. How about now? Yeah, it is backwards, isn't it? I'm a nut. I can read backwards so easily, right? Okay, let's see if... Let me bring something else in. And sorry for the delay. Hello from super snowy Colorado. I was just talking about you. Okay, there we go. Hearts and I'm right side up now. Okay. Um, look, I didn't even have to like grab the camera back. I just kind of flipped up there. Getting so tricky. Okay, gosh, what next? I don't want to show you the stamp set next. I want to show you these. These are trading pins and um, I'm not sure who I'm going to trade them with. I think I'll have to trade them by mail which will be so fun. So it says on stage pin trading. Put these Stampin' Up! pins on your lanyard and trade them for the styles you like best with your fellow demonstrators. <laughs> so it's okay, we can do that. We can do that virtually as well. And won't it be fun to get one of these in the mail? Look at this. This is like a um, little cartoony shark image. I love it. And the on stage, and they're so like they're cool um, enamel. It looks like enamel inlaid pins, and um, then they have kind of like this tie tack on the back. I'm hoping this becomes a thing for us, right? I would love to have some Stampin' Up specific trading pins. I myself always have some trading pins and if you would like one you can definitely have one if you don't already um 
I really like these little pins. But these, no, these are beautiful too. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, so cute. And also another like sneak peek to something else that we are going to be looking forward to in the January to June catalog or, or in the celebration. Um, obviously there's going to be something with popsicles or an ice cream and I mean, yum. Who doesn't want to know about that? Okay. Then there was this package. So, um, if you have been to an onstage event, you know that we always get notebooks and so they didn't leave us without notebooks this time either. Your pins are the same ones, Arlene? Okay. I didn't know if they'd be different or not. I'm wondering. Um, maybe they are, which would be the whole point of trading then, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is the November 2020 Onstage Notebooks. Oh my gosh. More ice cream and pink and lovely and dragonflies. We already know where the dragonflies come in. Well, at least one thing, because we, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the stamp set or not, but there was a stamp set that we could order. So let's take a look at this little one. Oh, super cute. More of that kind of Mango Melody paintbrush effect. I'm guessing that's going to be some sort of DSP, and it's beautiful. Love it already. These are all sorts of stickers. Oh, look at the blue lips. Those are cool. I think they're Misty Moonlight. That would be my guess. Oh, I like these. There's going to be, I hope there's going to be something with flamingos, right? I love flirty flamingo and I haven't used it in a while. So, oh gosh, see, oh, I can't wait. I mean, I'm hoping that my guess is right, that that is going to be um, DSP. Okay, then we have one that's just all grid paper. Super cool. Fun for sketching your designs, uh, your layouts and stuff. And also, I just use these sometimes. Oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, you just stay in your bed, girl, and enjoy to the extent you can. And then let's see. I bet this one's lines, right? But still, this design is super cool. It looks like balmy blue. Yep, lines. <gasps> Another cool color. I don't even know what color that is right off hand. Poppy Parade, maybe. Um, anyway, very nice. I like these. And also, you know, I'm a lefty and I would totally turn this around and um, use it the wrong way. And that would be just fine. This one's super cute. Looks just like the tote, right? Oh my gosh. I'm feeling inspiration. I'm jumping into my fingers already. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. They're like cardstock stickers. Okay, so you get that cool little strawberry. Look at this. I'm going to bring this close. We're using the front camera, and so it's not as good as the back camera. So I need to bring it up close. Your lips were blue. <laughs> That's why they made this sticker for you, Brene. <laughs> Your lips were blue after shoveling. I bet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this this might be my fave, this little cutie right here. I like it when they give us, um, I don't know, I like writing on this kind of dot matrix looking paper. We ha I have another one from, obviously, from um, another on stage, and it's my, it's my pre-planning book for my events. So, okay, those are all fantastic, as well as the paper, which I love. Now I'm gonna put this away for, I guess, just another week. And then, um, then it'll be a free fall. Then I can use it. Now I'm gonna bring the stamp set in. It's so fun. It's so, it's nature, right? It's called Enjoy the Moment. But look at it, you guys. It's all like these sketched seed pods and um, things that are very of the moment right now, I would say. So I know some of these, and you guys can chime in if you know what the names of these things are, but these are poppies. So this is where the poppy seeds are, right? And this is, I think, a sycamore, sycamore, I don't know what you call it, but it's seed pod. And I will tell you, if you step on it, it hurts. <laughs> Not even a little bit, okay? And um, there are tons of them. I would never 
want to have to clean all that up, but they're really fun to look at. And so, whoops, we're catching some glare. And um, let me turn this up for a minute. Maybe it'll be better. Anyway, and then there's the coolest sentiments, right? A little note, enjoy the moment. Friendship is found in simple things. I was thinking about making a card for Katie for this, um, with this, because Katie, my best friend, helped me with the retreat. And, um, you know, it was just nice to have her there. And uh, she would say she didn't do a lot, but she did a lot. But part of it was just that she was there to support me, right? So this stamp set, I believe, will be in the January to June holiday catalog. And um, Arlene says, you've never been to on stage. That, you know what? That's cool. I mean, it's cool that you're enjoying it right now. And so we have the same stamp set. That's okay. I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to have at least the same stamp set because uh, we're creating projects. So bullet journaling paper. Thank you, Jen. What did I call it? I don't know. Dot ma I called it dot matrix. That's funny. It's kind of a showing of my age, right? Um, lots of you are saying, what in the world? is dot matrix paper. Yes, whirly birds. Oh man, remember playing with those as a kid? All these kind of things you played with as a kid. And this, I don't know, it looks like an almond, but I think it's papery. I don't remember right now, but I'm thinking that this is like kind of papery. Um, I want to say it's like a Chinese lantern tree or something like that. And then I don't know about this thing, but it's cool. Um, and this so reminds me of my grandma Harden. There was a time, it was probably late seventies, early eighties when this was like a hot decor item. And so I don't know where she gathered these, but she'd go walking with her gal pals at the time and, um, they would get these and then they would spray paint them, uh, silver and gold, I believe it was probably outrageously beautiful arrangement. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, Chinese lantern. Okay, Natasha. These have a weird name and um, I don't remember what it is, but it kind of reminds me of pictures that are on Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> but that's not what it is. It's not a human. It's just a seed pod thing. Okay, so I... Oh gosh, there's this other thing and it's so cool. It's our pen, because they always give you a really cute pen. Hi, Anne-Marie. Now, Anne-Marie, I'm looking at the onstage stuff, so don't yell at me if you don't want to see it. Okay, look away. Look at the, oh my gosh, what? Look at this pen. Well, that's just weird. Now I have to try it, of course. Ooh. You know what I bet happens? As you go through the different inks. Well, that is fantastic. Oh, good. I'm glad you got yours today. Okay. This is cool. Starts out blue, purple, yellow. Okay. Well, that's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. Have you ever seen anything like this? Because I haven't. I think it looks super fun. And it was even in this lovely box. Like I said, they are the best. That beautiful packaging. So anyway, that's very cute. And um, I will save that to write in my new notebooks, right? Okay, so I did get the stamp set out. I labeled it already. It's kind of a thing I like to do. I put some backing paper in there so it wouldn't stick. And then I even made a card. Do you want to see the card? Because I kind of like it, but it's super quick. In fact, I can show you one and we can make one in like less than five minutes. Do you want to see it? any thumbs up, or if you don't want to see it, then give me a sad face, and I will just go away. I will wait for a few minutes. I'm getting some love hearts. That's great. <laughs> I'm getting some love hearts. Okay, I'm not seeing any sad faces. So I think I'll go ahead. So, I mean, don't be underwhelmed. This is super simple for me, but I think it's kind of pretty. There's my card. I'm telling you, five minute card, okay? And, um, I just like it. So you guys can let me know what you think, but then I also cut supplies so we can flip flop the colors, right? So this is just Jade and Bumblebee with Bumblebee gingham. And then 
on stage in or not on stage um in color 2022 in color enamel dots this is what a nice full package looks like this is what it looks like after you've been having fun and that was really it those colors and then on the inside I stamped this is second generation just jade and I stamped that really cool like I don't know what it is but it's really cool so let's make this all right and like I said we're just gonna flip-flop the colors so just jade is going to be the matte card front and the bumblebee is gonna be the card base this time let me make sure I got that right. Okay, very standard measurements, four by five and a quarter for the card front, three and three quarters by five for the insert, and then three and three quarters by five for the stamping layer. Okay, so let's just stamp this and see what it looks like with a few changes. Yeah, I, you know, I just was like, let me see what I can come up with, and that's what I made, and I thought it was really pretty. So I do love this one. Um, but we can definitely use, let's use this weird one that I said looked like Dr. Pimple Popper. We might have to do like a couple, but that'll be really fun. Okay. And I used soft suede ink. Where is it? Soft suede ink. Okay. So these were my colors, Just Jade, uh, Bumblebee and soft suede. So let's see here. Okay, I hope everybody had a really great weekend. Like I said, I obviously had a great weekend. And then yesterday, I mean, I don't know that I, I didn't get out of bed, or I got out of bed a few times, but I kept getting back in. <laughs> I was just tired. My body hurt, but I was happy. So that was really kind of fun. So let's see what these look like. Kind of weird. Um, I don't know that I love that immediately. The way I stamp them, that's all. Um, I would like to mask this and then stamp it. But let's see how it looks. It's a little short for just um, one image. I kind of, let's see. Here's another thing we could do. See, now I want to try and change it. We could do um, these whirly birds over and over. I think I like that. I want to try all of the stamps, right? What I want to do with that one seed pod looking thing is I want to mask it. So let me cut another front really quickly. It's a lotus pod. Thank you, Megan. Well, I wonder where my grandma was getting those from. That is so cool. I knew it was something kind of exotic, at least exotic to me. And um, there you go. There you go. I wish my grandma was still alive. I could make this card for her. Oh, well. I'll make it for my aunt instead because she will remember um, when my grandma collected all this stuff and spray painted the heck out of it. <laughs> she will love it. Okay. Oh, that's a little big. Let me get a smaller block. I need to be a little sturdy. You also called them that as kids? Oh, yeah. Helicopters. Yeah. Obviously. Um, Kathy called them whirly birds, so I thought that was a really good. But yeah, no, we called them whirly gigs, and we also called them whirly birds a wasp nest you guys would know you're down there in texas but i don't think so um that would be a really cool stamp though wouldn't it Anne marie i think he's on to something there because you know like that big papery um nest that they make i think it would be really cool so good idea um mr Anne marie mr heil <laughs> <laughs> Gidget Louise's dad. That was a great idea. I think you're on to a new stamp there. Be really pretty. But I don't want wasp stamps, okay? And I definitely don't want any mur murder hornet stamps. No way. 
No way. Okay. Let's use this one. Good things are worth waiting for. And that's a, that's what I'm doing. That's the stamping. Isn't it fun? Oops, sorry. That was a little loud. One thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to spritz it with the Stampin' Blends marker for soft suede. Okay. Let's get that out. Dark. I'm using dark soft suede. I'm going for it. So you just take the paintbrush end, right? And you put it in the cap and then you just flick it down. And you might want a lot, you might want a little, but what you don't get to decide is exactly where it's gonna land. Nope. You just gotta go with it. You get what you get. And so there we have lots of movement from very little ink, right? A new wasp stamp set. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. It would definitely be Texas. It could be like a stamp set, Emory, that's like all the weird bugs you guys have. And um, we could call it, um, you know, down in the heart of Texas. Got it. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Good things are worth waiting for. This is not the right block to put it on. I hate to be a bad example. You know I only like to be a good example. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so since I stamped this one with Bumblebee, I need to stamp this one with Just Jade. I love Just Jade. And I love Bumblebee. Oh, you're too funny. You are too funny and your kid's too funny. I am loving that picture of Baby Gidget. I can't believe that she was a foster fail. But then again, that totally makes sense. Um, that was the cutest picture that you posted. I love it. So good things are worth waiting for a cool mixed font. I can, I love a mixed font all day long. And of course I cut it on the bias because that's all I know how to do. Hello, Kathy. Oh good. You're checking it out with me. I love that. So I didn't think I had all three Kathy's here. I thought I only had two, but Kathy Strange is here too. Excellent. Kathy Strange, I hope you had fun um, this weekend making some wreath cards without me because, oh my gosh, you guys, I was working like a maniac last week and one night I posted all these videos onto my Charmed Card Kit class, right? And then I was still working on, on the retreat and I thought, wow, girl, you go. Okay, one more bit of stamping. And I guess we'll do it with Bumblebee just to keep everything kind of the same. Let's stamp something inside. How about the Chinese lantern, right? Because we like it. And I wonder if those turn, you know, we have those trees here too as well. Um, the sycamores and all that business. But let's do first and then second just to check it out. Yep, that's what I want. And second. Okay. That's really fun looking. A lot of detail and just a, such a simple stamp, right? Okay, there's that one. And then let's grab our Just Jade Gingham Ribbon. So this ribbon is part of a combo pack that's in the jar of flowers, right? So that's where you'll find it. And you get a beautiful, this wide white ribbon with it, a white cotton ribbon. And then this. I think what I want to do is position this just so it's like right on top of that um, whirly bird. <laughs> and I'm just going to do, I want my bow to be in a particular place. So um, I'm going to build it, right? So a little bit of seal plus and the stamping on the, or just adhering it to the back, right? And then um, bring it across the front. Great. And then I need this guy. I need some mini dimensionals on it. Just a few. Just to make sure it stays on the ribbon. And I'm going to tie it, or I'm going to have it go right across the ribbon. And then I'm going to tie a bow at the end, just like I did with this one. Hello, Denise. It's nice to see you. Yes, Elizabeth. Do you have sycamore trees also, Elizabeth? 
that if you do that's like that's one um, sturdy tree <laughs> to go from North America and oh gosh this is so long let's see I'm gonna cut it a tiny bit or I'm not gonna have room for a bow let me see I'm not going that simple must have bow okay you don't know how Stampin' Up! comes with so, comes up with so many ideas. Kathleen, I am totally with you. I don't know how they do either. In fact, on this particular one, I opened it. I immediately loved it. And then I thought, who looked at these seed pods and thought, you know, that's a good idea for something beautiful. Um, I guess what we need to do is find the beauty in simple things kind of like the sentiment says to find the friendship we need to just find the beauty in everyday things i'm sure someone really smart said that before me okay so now we're going to put this up on our just jade uh let me try and center it a little better than that i already really like it and i'm just using seal plus when i put it down with the cardstock um, I absolutely love our new adhesives, and I hope you do too if you need some adhesives and you live in the United States. I would love it if you'd shop with me. In fact, I posted a little call to action, right? A help call to everyone today. So I am $121 away from meeting my sales target for this month. And uh, it doesn't really mean that I could just can just go buy it myself and earn my target. It means I have to sell that. And so if you are in need of anything, I would love to help you. You know, I would always love to help you anyway. But um, as a special thank you for shopping with me during October, so it doesn't just have to be in the next few days, I'm going to put everybody who shopped with me for product okay not for the retreat but for product um during october i'm going to put you into a drawing and this is what i'm going to give away this is gently used it, we, it was used at my event um by no more than nine people and i actually had two stamp sets so just know that it's basically new and i'm going to send along the rectangular postage punch uh yeah postage stamp punch with it and all of these images are sized to be cut out with this punch. Um, you can also use the Label Me Pretty punch for almost all of these images too. But I just want you to know, if you place an order with me during October and you still have a few days, um, you have a chance to win this punch. And so the, the, more, time, or the more you purchase, uh, the more chances you get. And I did just post about that, so I won't go on and on, but I would love your help in meeting my goal. And if I can help you in return by um, getting you set up with some great product, then we both win. And you might win. So a really cool stamp set and punch that's very seasonal for right now. It has lots of different images for the holidays. And um, it's, it's one of the two stamp sets I used for my holiday retreat. So I would uh, appreciate that, everyone. Okay, so in the meantime, since I was chatting, I've been making a cute little Just Jade bow here. And I am going to, I just made it right on, whoops, I need the other scissors. You know, different materials need different scissors. Um, anyway, let's see here if I can get this. Oh, these scissors might be old scissors. I had all my scissors mixed up yesterday, um, again, because of the retreat. So those might be really the ones I just hold, keep for um, cutting grungy stuff. Feels like it. Those feel great. Paper snips are fantastic and only $10. Okay, now I just need a couple of blue dots. Let's see here. Okay, I'm in love with this gingham ribbon. This still looks pretty fall to me, especially because the the images are very fall, right? It's what's left 
right now from these trees. I don't know about in Australia, probably not. They're probably just now um, coming to life. And then let's finish this off with some of our enamel dots. Now, the way I like to take these off, I learned this from, mm, I learned this from a really cool demonstrator in Australia. I can't, I, my mind is blanking right now. But it's best to push these off of the acetate with the take your pick tool, the putty end, because um, sometimes, here's a good example. Sometimes if you pick at them with the paper punch, they come apart. And I don't know if you can see this, but this particular little sticker has lost its dome. Okay. So because I, um, I poked at it with the paper piercing tool and it came apart. But if you just push it off with the putty, I don't think that happens. Okay, so just just do what I do. Okay, stick with me, kid. You'll be fine. And then let's maybe put one down here. You know you can like re reposition these if you need to so easily. Oh my gosh. Look at me, Mom. I made two cards. Okay, probably was a little more than five minutes because I was talking and I changed my mind on the stamp. But there you go. There's two stamp, I mean two beautiful cards to give away um, and to make with your enjoy the moment stamp set. So I hope not to not to be corny, but I hope that all of you take it take some time tonight to enjoy the moment, right? And um, I will see you soon. In fact, I might see you tomorrow night with paper pumpkin alternates. <laughs> the way I feel right now, yes, I can do it all. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it was so much more fun to unbox that with you instead of just with Tango and Cash. Um, all right, everyone, I'm going to pop you back up now. And um, then I'm going to let you go. And you can make your own creations tonight. Look, she's upside down. She's upside down. Still upside down. There she is. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, everyone. That was super fun. And I hope you're all having a good night or a good morning. I know I am. And um, it was just really nice to see you. Okay? I will talk to you soon. Let's see if I can turn this off now. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> see you later, everyone. Maybe? I don't know. Ha, ha, ha.